God bless you, God bless you, in the mighty name of Jesus, our sweet Lord, our precious Lord Jesus. He's so sweet, he's so kind, it's amazing how God, who big he is, and so full of tenderness, and so full, so in detail, he can speak to you in so many ways, and so it's amazing how great and how small we are for him. The earth is his food bank he, 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 he's, he's, the earth is very small for his feet it's amazing uh, it's amazing please share this message so many times if you can please uh, subscribe like my channel so others can be blessed by the word of God and so we can walk with understanding from knowledge understanding from the scriptures by the word so we can not longer only jesus but also christ in the scriptures and understand uh, what how god is in our lives personal and also um, that we can walk in his will and in walk in his purpose and we are blessed and that we can walk victories in what we do also in our seasons that called ordained and place in time and place in your life maybe it's in your younger years or maybe later uh, god is very mysterious in his ways but he ordained something and you can stay in this place or you, or you can try to step out it is on you if you step out you miss your chance in life god will if you pray god will do it again his full mercy for grace and listen listen please to this message and please share it so many times if you can to bless and reach others with this message to bless them if we have no listen dear child of god if you have no understanding from a season or what god, god is doing in your life then you missed a lot of lessons and wisdom and what you can apply in the rest of your life is very key very key and or oh God ordained the place to reveal the heart of man to reveal the heart of man and uh, if you understand this say amen praise the Lord to him all the praise and glory it's uh, it's it's marvelous it's not an easy place and place most of times uh, with uh, up and downs not only down the Lord is very gracious and good he leads you he's a shepherd uh, lead the Bible in Psalm 23 and he comfort us with his rod and staff he's mighty to do that in in us and know know be, be, that you know and very key uh, give your life in everything not in part then you suffer why you are a little bit between in different ways and you always fall in one of in, in one of the ways it doesn't work out in your ways you have to give your life to Christ completely and surrender. It's very difficult to stay in a place where can God reveal your heart, the heart of man. Okay. I uh, want to point uh, this out for you. And I want to use a couple of scriptures. And this place can be... Um, this place can be in a place you an ordained place separated in a group of people it's um, God can disconnect you with people surround you so God can speak to you let me read first um, uh, Hosea the prophet Hosea a very special book and it is this uh, chapter 2 and verse uh, 14 therefore behold I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak comfortable unto her the Dutch translation say this I want speak to her to your heart God will seek and place an ordained place for you that you are alone and it can be in a relationship maybe it's not the best place but God ordains and if God ordains it it is possible it is maybe in a family you are a child and later on in your life you discover God 
separate me for a time for himself and you uh, meet God in a very special way and um, maybe there is um, a lot going on listen listen is very powerful if you understand the scriptures and say amen if you if you like to to, 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 to learn that the Holy Spirit can to reveal to us to he that the Lord will speak to you now to make it personal and that's with all my teachings and it's all that's what God wants for all the prophets and the apostles in the body of Christ he, he there was a word coming from by the Spirit to teach you and that you the Lord can use these words to touch you to transform you to help you on an, in other living and so you can prosper we can prosper listen Liana Caboso Yeah, Libra Hango Bosalianoso. Be aware what God wants to do with your life. Be aware. And it's not for nothing that you listen, it's not an accident. So many times God points something out for me to read, to look, and sermon are the and he teach me in a very profound way listen in an ordained place God can speak to your heart in a very special way if you allow God to work it out and don't step out of this place and God will always speak and and let you know this is my will and not always want he to reveal that is my ordained place most of the times uh, we, we we serve a mighty God and one uh, God for wonders most of the time he don't reveal the purpose from a deeper purpose in a season only in the end Otherwise, he gives the answer for your question before you get the the exam, the the the, the proof, the test. Listen, I want to give you an example. There was a big uh, problem in the uh, the in Israel, by, uh, and there was a lot of going on, and there was a lot of. Uh, uh, things uh, be go be going wrong in Israel. They serve other gods, and um, the ways are crooked, and the ways are uh, the, no more. The highways can no more longer the used. And a lot of things are going bad, and that works a lot of things out, and. God will do always something new. Yes, I want to. Um, I want to read for you uh, Deuteronomy chapter eight, a very profound scripture, and uh, is an, an, the place that revealed the, the heart of man. It's a place that God will speak to you and also to let you know what is in the heart of man. What is in the heart of man? Very, very profound, very important for this season. What is in the heart of man? And the season, the time is most dependent about did you acknowledge did you agree what god will feel to you in this season if you don't understand it god will, will reveal it in this season and if you don't understand it please search pray god want to reveal it by listening through the word of god not by only speaking not only in singing praying 
also by reading and study the word and you want to speak to your heart in a very special way he, the, the Lord can use many ways and he look to you to as a person and he do it in a special way that you can understand it and he speak from your spirit in your heart if your heart treasure is big you can receive a lot of things in this season and again if you in your heart agree what God teach you that um, make your time in this season shorter the teaching in the spirit is very important about what you are thinking in your heart it's not about your speaking also your speaking and your behavior and your your uh, your your deeds your works but what in your heart are agree, agreed with God that means you love God about what he's doing with you that makes a big difference in this place God can only show you things if you are ready in a season and most of the time he built some short seasons before the longer season in so you are building a relationship he want to build a relationship with you if you don't if you don't if you re reject this short shorter seasons short ordained places the big place cannot come listen to your child of God the Lord will always come you have a lot of wisdom a lot of strategy and to have a, a lot of patience to bring the man in a place if you are a very stubborn person and you love the Lord a lot he do it in a different and very hard way I won't don't touch this way it's very hard it's very difficult but it's a way that you do most of the Christians don't believe this or don't understand this I won't touch now the uh, the, uh, the subject that you understand there is a way that God have ordained for you listen I want to read first and uh, Deuteronomy 8 verse 2 and thou shalt remember all the ways which the Lord thy God let this 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee you see two things to humble if you don't humble before the Lord your season with God in the ordained place are long very long you are stuck if you can't honor God in what you what he does in what he do for you then your days in this season are very long time and he proof you it is very easy in a season of summer to give something about your abundance for kinds of some people is that also difficult but it is very easy to give something which you have if you have nothing what want to give to God is your heart if you have very very uh, uh, little things to give give always something something to to make it okay to humble day to prove day to know what is in the heart what is thine heart whether thou wouldst keep his commandments or not very very key for this season and your the commandments to what the Lord will that you do for him can be very strange conform the scriptures and very very important conform the scriptures conform the principles he if you don't listen in the wilderness also the devil comes you and that's I teaching you you before this big season comes he teach you he if you don't write things down this season is very very difficult to overcome you have to write that things down you can also come in this season without God by doing your own will and be the prodigal son and lost everything that's also a way that's also a way it's not easy way 
where if you obey God, he leads you in an ordained place that he reveal your heart to you. God know already what is in the heart of man. But did you know what is in the heart? Did you what you think? That it's very easy to love an, a woman if everything is okay. God will teach you before you're married that you on in and put you in a place of pressure, in an ordained place, that you know what is in my heart and you you are <laughs> you are afraid sometimes what is coming out in high pressure. And God will put it out of your heart, out of your life, if you obey him. There's nothing, nothing impossible for God. This very key in this season. Listen, libra ya da kapaki kula faide. Oh, that that it is so blessing. This is blessing for you. Libra sakatoso. And he humble day and he suffer day to hunger. That's very true. That's very true. And don't think that is don't think by yourself that's only for a few Christians. God, if God loves you, he bring you in a difficult hardship or dangerous season. Maybe it's in the younger years or maybe later. And he let you hung he give hunger and he give a lack of money or and the humble day and serve day to hunger and few to with feet they with met mana which thou thou knowest not, neither did he my fathers know, that we might may know that men do not live by bread only. That's a very big key that you got understanding in the season that you don't live by bread alone, don't live from the world. But you need God. You need your spirit filled and your heart filled with God if you have a lot of riches beautiful cars mo motorbikes a home you think that is my point where I can feed my soul that doesn't work out on the longer term and that's so nice from this season if you are go in this season you come out with a new deep of understanding from life you look different to other people you love more people you love your God more if you're willing if you're willing to see that if you allow God to work it out if you if you are proud and you don't die and the seas I'm proud you don't see what God is doing in your life and you are your heart is not get soft in this season you see that that the Jews in the wilderness, when this God, this scripture talks about the Jews, get out of Egypt, get out of bondage, and they have to learn the ways of the Lord. God will out bring you out of bondage and teach you how to live, and then you can into the promised land. Go pro in, in promise, get in the promised merits, get in the promised house, get in promise the prosperous, prosperous and. Uh, and a um, um, big house a um, big car but if you don't know how to live with God if you don't depend of the daily bread from God from his mouth Matthew 4 4 is also speaking about if you don't be proved like Jesus we walk in the same footsteps 1 John 2 verse 5 6 this says Romans 15 the first chapter, first half chapter. Thou shalt also consider in thy heart that as a man casted his son, so the Lord my God casted thee. The Lord punish you, and you have to consider and you have receive it. If you can receive it, you are so blessed. If you receive the prophet teaches, if you received. The punishment of the Lord, it brings life in your life from the Lord. It gives a new, fresh understanding of life and removed old carnal thinking. It's very profound by the mercy of God, what God sh share with you now. 
It's an amazing scripture. You have to call sin in your heart. That's the key to go out ab about difficult situation. And you have to consider I'm proud if I live in the flesh. Let me, let God humble me. And please, Lord, have mercy. Learn me to humble. And it's not a spirit. You cannot pray for a spirit. Holy Spirit, make me humble. Yes, he can make you humble, but not that there's no spirit that you receive. I'm humble. It speaks about your behavior. It speaks about your thoughts, your, your who you are, and how the world formed you. If God can, if you don't allow God to change this, you are stuck in a place always. You are difficult in relationships. You are difficult with to do business with big deals. Why you are leading by the pain or you're proud and you reject sometimes and deal what is very it's not maybe perfect the deal, but it is in God's holiness, it is God's will, you make a deal. But by your emotion, by your heart, you are your own you do it only on your will, you miss a lot of opportunity, a lot of money. I wanna round it up. It's a very, very blessing me also. And it teach a lot of things. Uh, there's many to share, but I want to round it up now. This is the main question, the main, uh, please share this so many times you want. And please, if you want, share of so, so in my ministry, let me know so that, that I can reach out, out to many other people with the word of God, so they can bless with the, the word of God, to bless you, to keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.